Saint Philip Beniti. And the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to him in a vision and told him to join the order of her servants, the servants of Mary. And when Saint Philip received that apparition, truly from the Mother of God, he was a humble man. And he didn't go around bragging, oh, I just had a vision, you know, and telling the whole world. No, he went into a cave and he did severe penance for a long time. And he meditated and united himself with the passion of Jesus Christ, a true, true holy man. And then as he entered the order, he ended up spreading devotion to the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary throughout the whole world, even all Europe and Asia. And that is a gift from God to meditate on the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary. There are many graces attached to that. Our Lady is the Queen of Martyrs. She suffered more than all the martyrs combined together from the beginning of Christianity till the end. And she stands at the foot of the cross. Our Lady is the most important uh, part for us to grasp that if we cling to Our Lady, especially Our Lady of Sorrows, she too will teach us how to stand at the foot of the cross, that we don't flee. This is the problem in the church today. Nobody wants to suffer. People have flee from the cross. We're not supposed to flee from the cross. We're supposed to run to the cross. We're supposed to be crucified with Jesus Christ. St. Paul says, crucified. And all of us, myself included, we get mad when we're persecuted or somebody looks at us the wrong way. These are all minor things. We have to start praying to Our Lady, teach me how to embrace the cross. Because Catholicism is about crucifixion. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. But today, most people are selfish. All they care about is themselves and their own ego and their pride. We must be crucified with Christ. Today's readings are appropriate. St. Paul in the letter Corinthians, it says, we are a spectacle to the world. A spectacle to the world. We are fools for Christ. When we go today to process again with the Blessed Virgin Mary, don't be embarrassed. Put your pride aside because we are a spectacle, unfortunately, not only to the world, but we are a spectacle to the church. Today's church, not the true Virgin Bride of Christ, but the so-called church. Today, all hell is descending upon Dublin to promote the LGBT community. What a mockery. The devil is the ape of God. He inverts everything to mock God. And so God makes Eve for Adam. And so what does he say? No, Adam needs another man. Eve needs another woman. This is directly from the pits of hell. And those in the church are promoting this, the hierarchy, and the Pope himself by his acts of omission and his silence and his statements. This is a disgrace. And this brings down God's wrath upon us. And God is the only one who can fix this right now. God is the only one who can get us out of this mess and the Blessed Virgin. It's only going to be by listening to Our Lady of Fatima that we will have peace. She gave us the peace plan. And it's not easy in one sense because you can't be filled with pride if you're going to follow Our Lady of Fatima. You have to acknowledge that you are a sinner. You have to acknowledge that you must do prayer and penance to enter the kingdom of heaven. And that we also, Our Lady, makes it clear to us that you don't go to heaven alone. And you don't go to hell alone. And so we have to get that spirit of reparation in prayer. This Mass is being offered up in reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we have to realize that we can not only save our own souls, but we can participate in the salvation of others. What a gift from God. 
And once this starts sinking in, hopefully, like the saints, we will realize the value of the cross. That souls are not won by laying back and watching the world go by, and by being caught up in yourself. Souls are won by shedding blood. I had a spiritual director who was a beautiful man. His name was Father Albert Evans. He was a priest of the Sacred Heart. And he had the blessing when he was in novitiate to be taught once in a while by Father Matteo. Father Matteo was the founder of the home enthronement of the Sacred and Immaculate Heart. And Father Matteo used to tell them as seminarians, you want to be a priest, huh? He goes, are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing to pay the price for souls? Someone has to pay. Someone has to pay. So as we go today, and like I said, it's, it's not only are we a spectacle to the, to the world, we have become a spectacle to the church, where they mock us, they laugh at us. But let us be fools for Christ. Let us be fools for the Blessed Virgin Mary and consecrate ourselves. And those of you that have children, you have the right to consecrate your children to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And you never give up on souls. These most wicked souls, we have to pray for. What do you think the Fatima message of we told? We must pray much for the Pope. Unfortunately, Pope Francis is spewing out heresy after heresy after heresy. And this is sad. It, shouldn't, it should break our hearts that our Holy Father is holding, is teaching heresy, promoting the LGBTQ community and so on and so on. So once again, as we go to Calvary right now, as we go to the Holy, in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, let us beg the Blessed Virgin to give us the graces we need to, number one, to desire to suffer, because the first step, say, even being a saint, is to desire it. That's the first step. So the first step to standing at the foot of the cross is you have to desire it. Say, Blessed Mother, I'm a coward. I'm scared of the cross. Help me to stand at the cross. Help me to do prayer and penance for my wife, my children, my husband. Help me to do prayer and penance. Help me to stand at the cross like the saints did. All the saints, the Holy and the world, the more they embraced the cross. When our Lord appeared once to St. John of the Cross, he said, John, what do you want? Anything you want, I'll give it to you. He says, all I want is to suffer and be despised the love of you. Would that be your response? Would that be my response? I hope so, but at least we can desire to be like St. John. St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi said, all I want to do is suffer and die for the love of you. And not to die, because if you die, you can't suffer no more if you're going to heaven. All the saints talk about the cross. St. Alphonse tells a beautiful story of this nun who died. She, she had a very bad illness that was very painful. And after she died, she appeared to one of the nuns in the convent. And she said that she was in great glory in heaven. And she said, in heaven, the saints can desire nothing because you're totally content. And she said, but if I can desire one thing, any saint in heaven, they said. So I wish I could come back to earth and suffer the pains that were very severe that, I, that she went through until the end of the world. Listen to this, just, she said, for the extra glory you get for saying one Hail Mary with devotion from your heart. Do you hear what I said? This nun would be willing to come back and suffer thousands of years, the pains, the severe pains that she had. She was in agony for years. Just for the extra glory you get for saying one Hail Mary with devotion. My friends, let us pray today that the Blessed Virgin will pierce our heart and hearts and soften our hearts, that our hearts will be pierced like hers was for the love of God, and that we will be able, willing to lay down our life for our loved ones and for our enemies. 
that we will be a spectacle to the world and we will be fools for Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen.